Well, it's Sunday afternoon, um, out doing a little digging. My wife took me on a trip to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We spent a few days in Gettysburg, um, checking out the battlefield and all the history of the town. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I wish I could have <laughs> done a little digging there, but uh, felony charges with a $500 fine is not cool. So I'm back in my hometown in Michigan. It's cold today, but I'm at the softball field windy and I had a, a strange signal like a 940 and it was going 935 940 so dug it and I was able to pull up a, a wheat scent and also along with that wheat scent in the same hole the wheat scent is a um, 1941 I found this uh, tag Alice Chalmers I'm not sure if it was part uh, like a fob or something it might have been. And I cleaned the backside a little bit. And it says Early Equipment Company, Detroit and Grand Rapids. So not really sure what it is, but cool find. I'll see if I can find anything else. Hey everyone, it's Thursday. I'm out doing some detecting here in Michigan and these colors are just incredible. I hope you can see some of these in this tree. I'm going to pan around here to the other side and there's a, just a gorgeous tree behind me. That one's pretty nice right there. But when I keep going here, look at that tree. Is that gorgeous or what? Beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, it's just too bad the snow is coming. Hope you all enjoy these colors though. Hello everyone. I uh, thought I'd do a, a wrap up for my last couple of hunts. I wasn't able to find any silver, but uh, I, I did get some interesting finds. First I'll go over the coins. Um, the back row here is all my pennies most of them are copper there are a few zinc in there I did get four nickels uh, I got some quarters including one that really got dinged up must have got hit by a mower and uh, a nice assortment of dimes I did get um, 15 wheat pennies and top left one you can see it got dinged up too. I, I don't really know the dates. I didn't really look at them. Uh, I'm guessing most are 40s, 50s, but maybe there's some older ones in there. I hope so. And I got the usual amount of uh, junk. As you can see, nails, bolts, pull tabs. I found this in our local park and it kind of alarming in a way. Of course, it could have happened a long, long time ago, but it's a uh, it's a jacketed bullet, mushroomed. Um, I don't know if it was fired into a tree or, or what, but I found that. I got this, uh, it might be a watch fob. It says all Atlas Chalmers on the front, and it's got a slot on the top. And then the uh, uh, dealership is Early Equipment, Detroit and Grand Rapids. So not quite sure what that is. If anybody has any ideas, I'd appreciate if they let me know. Um, got a, looks like a lipstick tube. And this was really cool. I found this uh, at the softball diamond. And I believe, after looking at it, um, I think it's, I believe it's a candle holder. I can't imagine what else it would be. If anybody knows, uh, please, you know, let me know. It looks like it might have had some wax or something in the, oops, the sun's in there, in the bottom there. But uh, that's what I believe it is, some sort of um, maybe either coal mining or railroading candlestick holder. And then this one really puzzles me. I found this, this ball, and it measures just over an inch in diameter. 
I'm not sure what it's made of if it's lead or what but it, it's really dense and pretty heavy and the only thing that I can compare it to would be like a, a canister round um, you know from a Civil War type cannon if anybody this one really uh, has me confused you know why I would find it in this area if anyone has any ideas that should or suggestions on maybe a way to identify that I, I'd really appreciate your input so that's what I found um, gonna get out again tomorrow Dave and I are gonna go on a couple of older parks and we'll see what we can find so everybody have a good weekend find lots of goodies happy hunting and good luck